Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. All right, so let's do this thing. Uh, we will have to create. Uh, we will be creating a separate component to handle all the videos as well as suggestions. So it will be just one file rather than the app.js. So let's do that. Let's create a folder and video. Uh, video details or something like just video and new file will be this and then this one react functional component and I'll change it to an arrow function okay so one interesting thing which we will do here is we will be using fragments so we'll be using react fragment and there's a benefit to it i'll show you what so at this point if i take this and put it uh, in the fragment let me show you what would happen first of all i'll have to import column and row so let me do that column do we have row no we don't so from react bootstrap which is great and see it is working as expected now the thing is let's see what happens if we don't use fragments so i want you to see in real time so okay is it even running Okay, so let me show you in the terminal. As you can see here, there is row. There's a class which is eight and four. So Let's remove this and put it as a div or something. So let us refresh it. The thing is that this is not even, we, are, we, ha we aren't importing it. So first of all, I'll have to remove it. Video. Okay, and let's see. Okay, see this. And if we use React fragments, React fragments, fragment. Okay. The reason is that what React, React Fragment, let me tell you what if we don't use React Fragment. So I will have another, instead of React Fragment, I'll have row, and which is okay, which is not bad, but I, I haven't imported it yet, but let me just go back and save it, row, so let me put row, Okay, <clears throat> so as you can see on the screen right now, we have single video and suggestions on the right. So what we will be doing is we will change them into one single component. So let me remove the whole thing or maybe I'll just copy and paste. And here I'll write video and I'll create another component, which is the video one. So video, this is a folder and in this folder I'll have index.js okay so in this index.js what I'm going to do is react functional component and okay I'll first of all change it to arrow function I'll have to find a package which 
does this for me okay but anyway right now I can just <coughs> have the column and it's important to have fragment and not a regular div just because it can allow this column to have its own style like inherit the styles and <coughs> make it similar to the one we had before okay so if you see here we don't have any video so we'll have to import it so what we are going to do is we'll try to auto import and it did so column is not defined so in video we'll have to add import column from react bootstrap and this will work and it will work as expected and what we are going to do here is we will be making two other components so single video and other one will be suggestions mm. suggestions okay so we don't have these files right so first of all we'll create single video .js and the other one will be suggestions.js okay so in single video we will have will create the same thing and it is not going to be div uh, react fragment anymore it's just going to be div and what are we going to do here is we will have one outer layer one for image one at the bottom for title and subtitle so this is for title and for subtitle okay so in this one I'm going to put iframe so for right now let me find the YouTube and the education let us look for a project. I'll look uh, at this video. And what I am going to do here is uh, where can I get the okay in the share? I'm going to get the embed link. So this is the iframe I'm going to pick. And I'm going to go back to iframe and just put it right there and this should work title so I can have any dummy title dummy title and description okay this should work and here a single video let's see if this guy is going to auto import I guess he is great and we are going to do the same thing for suggestions and for suggestions what we are going to do is we will be using react bootstrap and react bootstrap list group okay list group item this is something what we are going to use so let me go and copy the dummy code so this is all we need and I'm going to place it right here so we will need to import list group and that's I guess pretty much it and let me have let me auto import it suggestion okay this guy is not auto import so what I'll need to do is import suggestions from suggestions and this should probably work let's see okay so this is great and it's working as we are expecting so okay let's see Alright, so we have everything that we need for the UI and in the next video we will start working with the API calls. 
So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.